It's a challenge to bring middle school students together from many different schools and then keep them interested in learning. In today's school spotlight, that's the job facing the staff at Sandburg Middle School, which reopened last fall. We are building a culture and climate. We started out the school year with establishing expectations, routines, creating many, many team building activities. Think of Sandburg Middle School as a new school. The building had been closed as a middle school for eight years, so when it reopened this year, it was all new to the 570 students who came there from three other middle schools in the district, as well as charter schools, private schools, and other districts. Building a school from the ground up, so we also had all of our sixth graders coming in from various elementary schools and having them figure out who they are as a new middle school student. None of it was easy. Principal Amy O'Hearn says it's about building relationships. Relationships are key. Without relationships, we are not going to reach the students at the level that we need to reach them. The day we visited, seventh graders were getting their hands on microscopes for the first time. And hands-on learning is key to this age and this school. If you ask a middle school student how they best learn, they will tell you that it's hands-on. They want to have their hands in it. You can see that in many areas of the school. We got herb seeds, we got vegetable seeds, um, and all of this material was donated to us. When the weather warms up, kids will go hands-on in the school's new community garden. We used to have a playground out here. Um, we took it out in the fall so that um, our garden could go in this square area. It will be up to students to plan and do everything and then watch it grow right outside the classroom. Students are going to do everything from building raised garden beds to deciding what seeds are going to go where. We like researched um, a lot of stuff about the penguins. In another classroom, sixth graders are becoming a visual part of a slideshow report on heat transfer and insulation. What's the best way to keep a frozen penguin ice cube from melting? We did two designs, and the first one kind of melted a lot, and the second one didn't. The storyboard is translated into a slideshow to help foster understanding. They're sharing it, and just it's for them to be able to see the whole picture, the big picture in the story of what we've been working on for the last month, and really to explain it and understand what, what we've done. The hands-on idea in band is obvious. 120 students are in different levels of band. If you would like to draw a person in your artwork, how would you draw a person in correct proportion? Art is another natural subject for a hands-on learning opportunity. It's about the art and then some. Hands-on learning offers creative problem solving, teamwork, and the fact that students work together to set up their workstations. Um, to make creative choices. A lot of changes happen during middle school and when you're building a new one from the ground up, Principal O'Hearn says it's about having everyone at the table. Bringing families in, having opportunities for students to have um, a showcase of their experiences, whether it's arts, science, social studies, whatever it is.